Alrighty, and here we are with part two of my DX Zenkai Gatai set review with the second half, uh, Zenkai of Room Majin set. Comes with Room and Majin. And yeah, these two, Room is a brick, but Majin is pretty intricate compared to literally all of them. Uh, there's a lot that was put into her design to make it go, or to make it look at least decent from this angle, as I'll show you. Uh, but yeah, we'll go in order of them showing up in the show like we did last time. So we're going to take Room out of here. I mean, they all showed up in episode one, just, you know, the Zenkai -er forms. But yeah, here we have uh, Majin. And the only thing is, if you look at her from this side, you can tell. But if you lift up her wing, she's leaning front. I don't know what happened to, like, go. We're going to put her, like, her body a whole inch forward. Uh, but, yeah, we'll just put that back down. And, yeah, so she's based on Magi King, uh, which I have right here to show with her. As long as he'll fly in here. Uh, yeah, obviously based on Magic King. Uh, put this up a bit. Go ahead and bring her closer to look at her head. Yeah, she has like no articulation compared to the others. Like she has this elbow joint thing. That way she can hold her staff properly. Uh, but yeah, like the Magic Hat. Uh, I didn't say it on gown but he has the, the 25th or 25 on his head uh she has 29 uh because magic ranger was the 29th sentai uh we'll go ahead and get magic king out of here so we can show off her transformation into uh majin dragon uh so you want to take out her staff set that to the side that arm down uh these wings come off they change in every form they just have to come off uh you want to turn her head and hide it away and then flip her over so we can start making her look like a dragon put those forward that forward and then this will become her like bottom of her neck. Uh, you have to split her apart and twist. Ignore that area. Uh, and then clip back. Clip the legs together like that. Make sure the head is all together. Her feet become the dragon head. And then it just clips across. Shut the mouth all the way. Yep, there's almost a whole dragon. Uh, well, let's go ahead and put her tail on because it's the hardest part. Uh, I don't know why, but so this hole goes on this peg right here. It's a circle peg. Clip it in. It's really hard. She ends up looking better on this side. Uh, wings, make that flat like that. And it comes over to the same shoulder joint, just the opposite side. Clip it on. And then, same thing with this one. And then, this part right here, same thing on the other side. Clip it on. I don't like actually click. And, let me put my camera down. Uh, and yeah, so there we have uh, Magine Dragon. Uh, yeah, she looks cool. I think she has the best uh, alternative mode than the others. Uh, room's probably a close second. The other two are so dorky. I just, I really like them. But yeah, her wings can, like, do the thing that dragons do when they're laying. But yeah, it kind of puts her up. Then you can, like, fold them up. Makes it look like she's zooming. Zooming. Uh, but yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and sit her right here. I'm going to get some comparisons ready for you. All right, and so we'll bring in the obvious uh, one that she is based on. They're both big, so it 
it's kind of hard getting them both in here. But here's Magic Dragon. Uh, I don't have its wings fully extended because it's too big. Uh, but yeah, so those look pretty cool next to each other. Uh, she definitely, I mean, she, you know, she's based on it, but like, unlike the other ones, she's not based on like the reds Zord. She's more so based on like this, which is a combination of the four other Zords, which is cool. I mean, dragons are always cool. Uh, set this to the side. Um, one second, I just decided to do something funny while we're here. You can bring in your red guy and have him ride Magine. Like this, not, you know, you know. All right, and then I have a couple other dragons. Uh, the other one that was... Um, you know, that that's Magic Dragon from Go Kaiju. <laughs> uh, so it's just a small version, a smaller version of the other one. Uh, but main, all red, so you know that matches, I guess. Uh, here's the one that I think looks probably the most like her. Uh, is the dragon from Go Sager. And you know. Mega Force for all you Power Rangers fans. Uh, but yeah, I like these two together because they're kind of the same like build where it's like they're straight out compared to the other ones that are more uh, more Western, which I mean, that one's kind of Western. And then, uh, since I already have it out, we can go ahead and throw in this boy. So yeah, Wingless Dragon could be you take off the wings. We need to take them off anyways for the combination. But there you go. That's the same. Alright. Get this out of here. And since we already have her ready. I'm just going to leave the wings off. And push her over here. And then bring in Vroom. Oh, what happened to my light right there? Vroom, keep your, keep your goggles up. Bring this up. Yeah, so here's Zenkai Vroom. Uh, obviously based on Daipoken, uh, but blue. So pretty much the same looking thing. Uh, now we'll go ahead and bring in Daipoken. Yeah, so there's just Vroom with his big brother. Head sculpt, pretty, pretty much just Divoken with the uh, 30. Uh, this was, this and Gown are the two uh, anniversary seasons represented in the main cores in Kaiser. Uh, two Kaiser is the Six Ranger, and he's based off the next one that was after Broom. Uh, let's go ahead and get Divoken out of here. Vroom's transformation is the most simple. Uh, you take away his axe, his little pickaxe that he comes with. Uh, don't rip off his arm. Uh, and like Gowan, you put down his headpiece. And his doesn't turn or anything. You just push it back. Flip his arms around. And then same thing like we did with Majin. You just bloop. Super easy. Flip that down. Take this, uh, it slots in right here. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it slots in right here. It secures, and there we have, bring it down, Zinkai Room Dump Truck. Yeah, that. But yeah, he goes, yeah. Room Do Better. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so he's a dump truck. Uh, I only have two comparisons for him. Uh, so yeah, we'll sit him here. All right, and the obvious comparison is, boom, the GoGo -Go Vehicle 1, I want to say. It's been a minute since I've looked at their names. Uh, 
But yeah, red dump truck, blue dump truck, obvious, obvious that you can see it. And we'll just, unlike the others, there's enough room to, to bring this one in. And here we have the yellow dump truck from Ninja. It is the Bandai America one, don't judge me. But yeah, so there's, you know, three primary colored dump trucks. It's a whole team. Yep. All right, let's get them out of here. Bring back Magine uh, without her wings. So we're going to just go ahead and plop them on in the transformation. I'm going to try to do the best I can to get the transformation to have everything on it besides the weapons. So it looks nicer whenever I combine them. Uh, so yeah, for Magine, you want to take off her tail. Uh, she doesn't make the sound, so it's better to do her first. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and split her apart. Flip this over, down. I'm going to go ahead and put this up a bit more so we can see. And then for her uh, arms, you want to try to make feet of them, I guess. Their feet aren't really feet, it's blocks. Uh, and take this part from Rune, this arm, take it off. Uh, there's two pegs here. This one's for when he combines with Gown, which I will show at the end. Uh, and you just plop them on here. These connector points right here. And then have her like this. Uh, put that down. And then a bit more. Take her whole arm, ignore the head. Bring the arm down. And then, yeah. So her wings, you'll want them to be like this. And they go on back here. On this slot right here. Same as the same mechanism as the others. Clips on right there. And yeah, so there's the kind of Magine ready for Vroom Magine combination. For Vroom, take off this arm, take out this, uh, go ahead and flip his dump truck thing up, and it'll be the arm. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this, it goes right here. Clicks in. Uh, this part, there's two here. Got to hide Rune's head. And they click in the same way that they did on Majin. And then, yeah, so we go ahead and split them, just like we did the Jiren. Put them in at the bottom. Bring it up a bit. We go ahead and combine them. When we bring these up. Oops. And hold the shoulders. And there we have. He can spin on his wheels and be all cool. Uh, it doesn't really roll on the wheels. Feet actually touch. They're just there to be at the bottom. But yeah, so let's get back here. And yeah, so the wingspan on Rue Magine, like, looks awesome. Uh, you can give... I usually have him hold... Go ahead and hold both weapons. So the staff and the thing. The only problem I have uh, with this combination in general is that you can't like where the wings connect so like when you bring it up the wing is going to move i don't like that uh makes it feel less articulative when it's already a brick so uh yeah uh have a blast just ignore the wings the cool thing with the wings though is they're they're not straight across as you can see so in order, you know, to put them on your shelf so you don't have to worry about the wings, you can go ahead and fold down Majin side and then Vroom side, and then they fold up nice on the back. Discovered that when I was trying to make some room. So yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring back the wings. 
and we'll go ahead and make this where we show them together. Uh, there they are. I'm going to get him back out because I needed to actually do the comparison shot for uh, Diboken and Magic King. So get that. Get back here a bit. All right. And same as uh, with you and Gown. Bring in. There's Diboken. And then Magic King. And yeah. So that's how they look together. Uh, I like the look of this a lot. Uh, yeah, so I, I like both sets. Uh, Jiren Gown's definitely just more symmetrical, but I think that was the point, uh, considering it's machines plus magic on this combination <laughs> compared to uh, dinosaurs and animals. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get these two out, bring back Jiren Gown. Ignore that. Yeah, so bring in Jiren Gown. All wobbly. See, skipped leg day. Uh, and yeah, so we're just going to split them apart. I'm going to take off the weapons to make it easier uh, for both of them. And you know, we'll bring in the weapons when we're looking at them. Uh, doo -doo. And then for these two, I'm going to go ahead and, so on gown, he has this clip that you have to get your nail in, bring out. Uh, that's how you're going to put the uh, thing from Rune, which I'll go ahead and put on, clip on. And then you want to take the wing from Magin and put that on Juran. Yeah, so I guess that's the thing, like, uh, Vroom Magine has more, like, not accessories, but, like, clip-on things to show the combinations. Uh, I am just smothering the camera right now, because I was trying to grab it. Uh, but yeah, so just split them apart. Uh, we'll do Jiren Magine, because it showed up first. Yeah, easiest way is just lean them up against the wall. Split apart, uh, and can go over here, and you'll want to, for the show, uh, move their hoods back up. Now, I think I messed up uh, my Jiren, or yeah, one of my Jiren pigs, so I'm going to try to clip it as well as I can. Alright, that didn't work. Alright, and try it again. There we go. There we go. Bloop. So there we have that. Their head looks a bit better. As, so like the best part about this combo is that like Magine has these like hot pink spots for her wings and her body. It almost looks red. Uh, so it looks more, you know, cohesive. But yeah, so there's those two combined. I'm gonna, or yeah, you can have her hold the sword, go shield, or go shield and wand. Uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of here. All right, and then. Bring in Gown's half, close up his mouth, Brun's helmet thing, and so we're going to go ahead and clip them at the bottom, like we've been doing, and then just clip them together. Okay, there we go. Oh. Yeah, it was weird and unbalanced. And 
And yeah, I, I like the colors of this one. Uh, I don't like how his arm, I just noticed this. I don't like how his arm's stuck at this angle and his is straight down. Uh, but you can give them their weapons. They both have individual weapons. The room doesn't have a clip on this side for Gown's claw, so it's relegated to Gown's side. But yeah, it's a uh, very x many or x many colors, uh, yellow and blue, go together pretty well. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just cut away from this and bring back the other two and give my final verdict on the set. Alright, and yeah, so to end it off, I do like uh, the set a lot. Uh, I did like that I could just buy both of them together, but if I had to, I would have bought them separately because I am actually really into Zenkaiju right now. The show has been good and slow building and now it's getting to some serious stuff uh, with uh, Stay Caesar and Two Kaiser appearing. Uh, these guys got to fight their uh, what they're based on. So uh, Daijujin, Gao King, Magi King, and Daivoken. Uh, and yeah, so I'm liking it a lot. I'm excited to get the two Kaiser stuff in June, which I will be doing a review for those once I get them. And yeah, so if you guys want to see uh, more reviews, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to share it with your friends. Uh, give me some input on what you think about it. You saw a bunch of my like Zords from my collection, so you can comment and let me know what you want me to do like uh, review wise on them or just to go over stuff with them. Uh, and yeah, I will have my Instagram in the description in the bio or in the description, not in the bio. Yeah, so I'll have my Instagram in the description. I will have links for where you can buy these two uh, separately and I will have a link to the back order uh, link on Toe Collectibles, a uh, great site. Order from them a couple times. Uh, and yeah, make sure to follow guys. Thanks for watching.